But I want to take you straight to South Lebanon, where the United Nations uh, has put out a complaint against the Israeli Defense Forces. The UN has come under attack for the second time. United Nations uh, mission in South Lebanon. First, one of their watchtowers was targeted and now there are reports of fresh attacks that have taken place. That's the big story that we're getting our viewers here on India Today. And I quickly want to cut across to India Today's Ashutosh Mishra, who joins us for more on the story. Ashutosh, what more can you tell us? The Israeli Defense Forces that are going after the Hezbollah in a big way suddenly uh, uh, seem to have uh, been in the line of fire or at least the United Nations says it, they're in the line of fire of, uh, of the Israeli Markavas. Uh, we've also been able to get a word from the Israeli Defense Forces on this and they say that the Hezbollah had a stronghold very close to where the United Nations had their defenses and that's the time uh, when they were targeting the Hezbollah, the UN watchtower uh, was in the direct line of fire. Of course, they said they'd already sent out a word uh, and this happened in a place called Nakura. Nakura is where the UN also has its uh, headquarters. UNIFIL, this United Nations interim force in Lebanon, it's been there since 1978, one, perhaps the oldest uh, military mission of the United Nations. I've reported from uh, Lebanon uh, on, on the deployment of uh, the UNIFIL the Indian Army is one of the largest troop contributors, amongst the largest troop contributors to the UNIFIL mission. Uh, and this is where those forces came under attack. India, of course, has asked Israel to be extremely, extremely careful at a time like this because UN is, uh, is sacrosanct, should not be targeted. UN peacekeepers, they're there as peacekeepers in southern Lebanon. They should not be targeted. Israel, of course, has constantly been saying that the 1701 agreement uh, also has to be implemented uh, after 2006 conflict, which very clearly says that Hezbollah has to withdraw north of the Letani River and they still haven't done so. I quickly want to bring in my colleague Ashutosh Mishra for more on this. Ashutosh, what more can you tell us about Israeli forces in South Lebanon and the complaint made by the United Nations? Uh, Gaurav, uh, in uh, 48 hours, this was a second attack and uh, this time the uh, UNLF says uh, that Israeli tanks moved uh, very close to the proximity of the UNLF uh, uh, campus and this time this is another complaint that they have registered but this time not only the UNLF but a lot of countries globally have expressed their concern particularly the way the UNLF forces are being targeted about. So this is being a second attack in 48 hours literally raises a concern also on uh, this uh, afternoon two more soldiers from the United Nations for peacekeeping force were also injured so they are also uh, being treated so that is also because of this conflict the uh, UNILEF forces which have been uh, given mandate uh, under the UN resolution 1701 to protect the international border between Lebanon and Israel and since now they are also in a dilemma how to respond to that because there is no such a uh, you know, you in decision as far as uh, this con uh, new escalation and conflict between Lebanon and Israel is concerned. Now, since the battle is between Hezbollah and Israel, Hezbollah believes that now Israel is going to use the UNILEF premises as a human shield kind of, uh, and a similar escalation, Israel believes that now uh, the UNLF uh, uh, is being, up, uh, is protecting somewhere Hezbollah. So amidst of all that, what it looks like, the force Lita near the uh, Litani River to the part of eastern and northern way, this entire range is being protected by the UNILEF forces. And now they are coming into crossfire, indeed uh, raising an eyebrow, and perhaps all the okay. countries are now blaming uh, Israeli, but uh, their aggression is somewhere responsible for uh, the UN forces getting attacked. Keep tracking that story. I will come to you for more. UNIFIL uh, has been in place for decades. Uh, their mandate is very clear. And when it comes to UN forces, uh, they have their charter very clear. Whether their, their deployment is under Article 6, uh, where they're a peacekeeping force, or under Article 7, where they're a peace enforcement force. Uh, when I was reporting uh, from Lebanon uh, uh, with the UNIFIL, it was very clear that they're a peacekeeping force. Uh, we'll track that story very, very closely.